So, uh, this is a 2023 January's goals video, which is going to be a pretty short one because um, I haven't done my 2023 kind of themes video, which I'm going to work on this week. And by the end of the week, that is my goal to get it done, is to kind of have that kind of idea of general overarching themes of what, what are the things I would like to focus on, uh, make my life more... Uh, meaningful, happier, um, more fulfilling, and try and eliminate stuff that I dislike as much as I can, or reframe it in a way that makes it makes me uh, attack it more, more positively, and you know maybe brace it more uh, uh, positively versus attack is is the better word for it. Um, that said, let me start out with what is actually down here as my almost the, the, the near bottom of all the goals, which is, yes, that is the goal, the, 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 the first goal of the year, even though it's so far down on my list, which is to make that 2023 uh, themes, ideas, document, uh, to add it, to add to it, put it on a calendar, which hopefully will sh have shown up by the end of the week, uh, review and make a video and formalize a doc kind of document guiding the year, uh, something that I will use for all the all my monthly goals will kind of get shaped by what are my themes. And I mean, there's some that are just are going to stay the same. You know, there's there's some things that I've I've started in this year that I just like to continue, and uh, you know, just sort of assess how they're doing. I guess that that might be the other part of actually, it's a good thing to say is is um, another part of this year of this kind of this making a themes thing is doing a little, uh, is, is, God damn it, is doing a uh, kind of year, year in review, a uh, year in review kind of uh, section in that themes video of, okay, what was my theme last year? God, go back and read, listen to that video. Um, you know, check, check what my, check how I started out the year, what were my thoughts and, did I continue with that? Did I drop things entirely? That that often happens. I do that kind of a big check-in for the entire year and then talk about, okay, what are my themes going forward? And indeed, uh, like my monthly videos, really each month, the wrap-up seems to really inform what's going to be happening next month. That's probably going to what's going to happen of 2022 is going to what's happened, what hasn't happened, what have been the successes, what have been the not so successful parts of it will all inform what's going to happen, what's going to happen next. So, yes, that is something for me to do on uh, the Saturday, hopefully the Saturday um, of that of that thing. Uh, ja is it going to be away for a couple of days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, and coming back on Sunday, so that gives me some time to sort of sit and and do some focused focused stuff on that, and hopefully have a little bit more time if I actually manage it properly. That is often a challenge for myself. Of I'm alone and kind of just going blah, not having the structure of being with another person. Uh, you think, oh, I'm going to get more done. Actually, I, a lot of times I get a lot less done. So using trying to be mindful of using that time. So yeah. That is the overarching thing for January. That's the thing that hopefully, quick, fairly quickly in the month, I will have that kind of theme stuff. It may kind of continue to develop, but that's that's the idea. So I'll come back in February with those themes under my belt, and that will give me a little bit more of a drive uh, going through going through into February. And indeed, I'll, I'll I'll add it on here to my January stuff. So what are my January goals? My January goals, number one goal, as always, is time with Ja, making time with Ja, trying to be present with Ja, which I waver back and forth on how effective I am. I'm hoping um, that part of this will be doing walks with Ja will be a part of the month. That is something I don't have a control of myself. We'll see how that goes and where Ja's health and everything like that is but that would be wonderful if that's kind of one of the places that we can really connect and spend time together and chat as we are walking number two is the daily walks with the dog with the dogs and jackie and whether ja comes there or there's a second walk before i go to work 
I am open to that. I am definitely open to that. Especially since Jaws walks to begin with are going to be pretty short. Uh, number three is the early to bed, early to rise um, thing, which I've, I, I've been pursuing and I think it's been working fairly well. Uh, a lot of the things that come next uh, actually really contribute contribute to me doing that. So um, number four is a late night snack, which I think I'm starting to kind of hammer out something for myself of having a rice cake, rice cake with some cream cheese, a couple of tablespoons of a um, couple of tablespoons of pumpkin seeds and a chocolate treat with my milk. <laughs> this, this, trust me, trust me, this is actually is a light snack for me. And I know that's, you know, it's not the greatest thing to be eating at that time of night, but I'm being realistic. That for me, I think is a light night snack. And yeah, I, I will, I will tr make my efforts to kind of hold, hold to that, even though I did buy a bag of cheesies. <laughs> but I'll try not to eat too many cheesies uh, in one go. Uh, number five is my phone and earbud hygiene which has been going really wonderful me, for me and is a part of why early to bed has been such is been as more much more of a success for me i leave my phone in the office here on the charger and the earbuds i leave in here as well and i've been doing both uh ticking ticking it off with the, there's a little b here for earbuds because that's what I was the holdout. That was the thing I was taking into bed and just listening to podcasts that were broadcasting on my phone here in the bedroom. And, you know, it basically, I might as well just have had the goddamn phone. At least I wasn't getting the bright light in my eyes, but I was still beaming stuff into my head when I should be like, okay, read. And then when you can't read, go to sleep. And uh, that, that puts me off to bed pretty nice, pretty quickly, pretty quickly there. So that that is really successful. Uh, number six is to work on time. So that would be getting biking away from the house at 2.30. So that means I should, I should, I'm going to try and make an effort that not going to try. I'm going to set as my, my thing of set myself an alarm for 2, p for 2 p.m. to say, okay, 2 p.m. the alarm goes off and I get, I go and I go and I, uh, I shut, I shut whatever I'm reading cause I'm usually, I'm on the couch reading after lunch and I shut whatever I'm reading and I go, I pack up and I get myself ready so that like, you know, 220 or 225, I'm stepping out the door, getting the bike and then riding off at 230 because I'd really like to set myself a goal for this year of, I don't want to be to work super early because people get to work super early, end up getting roped into jobs that the or the shift before should be doing them goddamn themselves. Um, so getting there five minutes early though, is enough time to hand over what's been going on in what's been going on in the house and continue on. That's, that's my plan. That's my plan. And yeah. Yeah. Number seven is getting my daily physio exercises in, which has been really wonderful. A part of what I'm actually doing with my daily physio exercises is when I wake up in the morning, I do, I do what are basically hip exercises. I'm lifting my foot, I'm lying in bed, and then just lifting my foot up slightly, lifting my foot up slightly, and then doing it curved and lifting up, lifting up my knee and doing that on both sides. And it seems to really help my, my hips because that was definitely something that in my monthly um, kind of sessions with Joel for physio. Oh, I was, I was, my hips were really locked up. So I've tried to make an effort to incorporate that in. I wasn't incorporating in before because I have to be lying down and, uh, I can do physio in my, in the office here. My, my other physio exercises, I can do them at the, at work at a certain point. I've been doing them. I do them really regularly then, but I haven't been doing the kind of the hip things. And I, it's like, Oh, I can, I can tell that I've been neglecting that and it makes a difference for like, you know, how, how my body feels. So I'm really trying to get all that done, which has been really good for keeping myself, my back, my body aligned in a way that, you know, I have a physical job and if I don't care, take care of my body, that could really, that could really bite me in the ass. So I've been really diligent in doing all of those exercises and it's been really good. And I'm going to continue that on in 2023. Number eight is I've got down is my booktube channel. So not this channel, but my booktube channel, 
where I've got a various number of videos that for January I want to do. Uh, the Daryl video, my Rise and Fall video. I'll probably do a waffle video, which is just me kind of chatting about what I've been reading in a global sense and how I've been doing. Kind of that kind of videos. That that that's always that seems to be a good th a good thing for me. Just like, a, oh, hi guys, I'm checking in kind of thing. Uh, even though I'm not there very often uh, in, in in BookTube land. Um, or doing short videos on Orlando Furioso. If I can find subjects that I want to talk about, I, I'm I've done a little bit of of gathering information on one topic. I'm going to gather information on a variety of topics and then just sort of see what I have and see what I have to say about the subject. I might not have anything to say. And I guess if I don't, then I'll just take it up again once uh, Tom, who seems to, Tom at LA Books is doing a read along of Aristo, um, or Ludvigo Aristo's Orlando Furioso, uh, but he seems to have slowed down quite a bit on that. So, I'm going to make an effort to, I'm just going to wait for him to kind of catch up um, to where I'm at. I finished all of book one. I'll buy the second book when he kind of gets to the second book and we'll, and I'll take it up there. I'm hoping, I'm, but I want to do a bit of review on the book, what I've read so far to kind of get it in my head and to kind of get a little bit deeper read of it. Uh, I feel like I've kind of gone, marched through it and I've enjoyed it. But I'd like to kind of like, oh, what, what, what the hell have I taken in so far? So that is a good thing. I might do a video on the Grey Bastard uh, book that I'm reading moment, the uh, Lot, Lot Lands uh, number one by Jonathan French. We'll see. That might be a controversial video uh, in that, you know, I've noticed things about female characters, characterization in the book that seem... <sighs> They're both, I can see why they're appealing to a male reader because they kind of appeal to me in one way, but in another way, I'm kind of like, oh, uh, really, dude? And and we'll have to see. I have to let the whole book, get through the whole book and see, you know, is is that just because of who we're, who the, the viewpoint character is? That might just be why it's it's from that it's viewpoint. It may not be the author. So you don't shoot, shouldn't shoot them, shouldn't shoot the messenger if that is the case. So that's another one. Um, so gather all those together, uh, and then on January the 14th is the thought, is to relog on to to, J, the, to the BookTube, BookTube channel and publish the videos. And then once I've done that, kind of get off BookTube again until the uh, February 14th. I'll have to see how that goes. That's one of the things of my overarching uh, theme for for um the 2023 one of them is kind of reassessing how and what my involvement in booktube is going to be going forward because i really enjoy reviewing books uh and making videos about that that that's something i really enjoy doing so i think i need to, to do an assessment of like what do i enjoy what do i not enjoy um yeah yeah so that that'll be a whole that will be a whole whole topic that will be a whole topic of of my 2023 uh, themes video and I mean yeah it, it's probably gonna be a work in process um so yeah that's that's plenty to do in uh in January I'm sure I won't get all of that done at all but that's those are various things that I I definitely would like to try and do number nine is finishing uh the duffel puffs the the NaNoWriMo story that I started November 1st and so it's it's a matter of read is is a matter of reading writing writing daily oh god damn it an alarm is going to go off soon is writing daily uh make i've made that uh, just basically write daily get the fucker done that's that's the basic thing getting up at, getting up at 7 30 or something like that and and doing things maybe do a check-in video also maybe january 7th or january the 8th so i'm going to make that january the 8th um is is make a uh, progress just check in on on the duffel puffs maybe just help me talk out things a bit uh number 10 keep up with my day, daily journal keeping number 11 keep up with the daily tasks and keep notes the to-do thing because that's really useful for me for getting stuff done uh, number 12 is the outside garden tasks uh that's lights around the deck uh garden fencing and basically jackie i think is going to have a whole list of various things for me to do in the garden which will start up We'll start up in January. Number 13 is doing my vocal improvements. 
uh, stuff, which is the No Ums week video weekly, uh, continuing with Nancy uh, Roden, Patsy Rodenberg's uh, book, The Need for Words, uh, as a good th as a good kind of vocal video study thing each month, each not uh, each week, um, doing an anxiety video a bi weekly check in. So on January the fourteenth. Let's check in and just talk about feelings or how I'm doing mentally. I think that would be valuable. And also continuing with my vocal exercises daily. Okay. Uh, and uh, vocal exercises da daily and then uh, doing kind of a vocal exercise video um, where I'm at some point after Duffel Puff, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and uh, uh very vary up those vocal exercises after I finished Duffel Puff. And yeah, so that's, and then, so yeah, the 14, 15 are the making the 2023 themes and ideas. Number 15 is my year in review. And number 16 is Ja and me and our future planning. Checking in with Ja on this and trying to make plans going forward on this. You know, we, we didn't talk with uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and kind of general plans going forward that are more kind of global to the family. And um, yeah, just that, that, that sort of thing. So yeah, that is my January goals video. And I'll stop there because it's time for a birthday dinner for somebody. All right, I've been Jay. More videos later.